Okay, we are at Alloway Creek here in Hancock's Bridge, New Jersey. And today, we're going to talk about the Hancock's Bridge massacre that happened on March the 21st, 1778. This is the site where Major John Graves Simcoe led approximately 300 British soldiers and Queens Rangers through a marsh and across the Alloway Creek to surround the house of William Hancock Jr. At approximately 5 a.m., they entered the house and surprised 20 to 30 members of local militia that were stationed here, along with Judge William Hancock, a loyalist who was thought to be away for the night. Eight Americans were killed during the melee, including Judge William Hancock, who died the next day from 10 stab wounds. The rest were wounded at the scene or during the retreat or captured as prisoners. William Abbott and his son Samuel watched in the dawning light from the attic window of the home across the creek from the Hancock house. As the British and soldiers pursued and killed the few American militiamen who had escaped the scene of the carnage at the house and surrounding yard. One pregnant woman, who was the wife of one of the local militia, was sleeping in the Hancock house. She was awakened by the screams of dying men and jumped from a second-story window onto the west side of the house to make her escape. Tradition says that within 24 hours, the child was born, and actually the descendants still live in Alloway Creeks today. Now, as you can see, the house itself was built in the year 1734. Now, William Hancock presided over the King's Court at the Salem County Courthouse. Now, William and Sarah Hancock were prominent Salem County Quakers. And the house itself is a fine example of English Quaker patterns, as you've seen on the, the end of the brick walls. Now, the story of this house and town begins in 1675 when John Fenwick who was a lawyer and a Quaker from England, arrived in West Jersey, which is now Salem County. With land that he purchased two years earlier, he established the first permanent English settlement called Fenwick's Colony. And he founded the town of Salem, New Jersey. Eager to populate the area with skilled individuals, he advertised by saying, if there be any terrestrial Canaan, Tis surely here where the land floweth with milk and honey. I do want to point out that this large sycamore tree to the right side of our frame is actually original to the property and the house and was here during the massacre. So again, early in the morning of March 21st, 1778, while the Revolutionary War was still in full swing, William Hancock was in this house. All was quiet along the banks of the Alloway Creek, and inside the house, a small garrison of about 30 colonial militia, along with Mr. Hancock, were fast asleep. On the other side of the creek, loyalist troops from John Graves Simmore's Queen Rangers gathered in the pre-dawn gloom. They were frustrated by the rebel resistance in the area and were determined to stamp out the local militia and those who would offer them refuge. His men stealthily crossed the Alloway Creek and quietly surrounded the house. Upon Simcoe's command, troops converged on the house with orders to spare no one. They entered simultaneously from the front and rear and began killing every occupant inside. Men begged for their lives as they were bludgeoned and bayoneted to death by loyalist soldiers that had been their friends and neighbors before the war. Though a few survived the skirmish, between 20 to 30 people were killed in the bloody melee, most of them bayoneted to death in the attic of the house, where today the bloodstains are still against the walls and floors of the house. The house itself is modeled after the 17th century building traditions of the Quaker English homeland. Masons used variation in the color and the placement of the bricks to create designs, dates, and initials in herringbone patterns in the walls of the house. 
The house stood pretty much in abandonment for over 150 years before it was reopened as a historic attraction to mark the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth in 1932. Up until the 1960s, you could still go in the house and up to the attic area where the blood-stained floorboards uh, were, but they no longer allow you to do that. So again, this has been a American history video series covering the Revolutionary War period at the William Hancock House in Hancock's Bridge, New Jersey, site of the Hancock Massacre in the early morning hours of March the 21st, 1778. Here along the Alloway Creek in Salem County, New Jersey. This small town today even is as it was back in the late 1700s. It's very sparsely populated out in the middle of nowhere uh, and still sits here along this Alloway Creek. Thanks for watching this video series as I travel spots and tell stories of American history. And again, today has been the Hancock House and, and the Hank story of the Hancock House Massacre. And I am historian Frank Patrick Marone, Jr.